I need you to do me a favor. Oh no, you put me on the spot. Oh, he brought a guitar? <gasps> Hi, I'm Zelian. I'm 25 this year and I'm 173 centimeters tall. I see that you also brought your own guitar. Yeah, so I was actually low-key confused about that. I was like, do I have to do the chasing part or something? So I should just bring my guitar alone, right? And now I have my guitar, but excited to find out what's what's coming next. Especially the, the chasing part, like, ooh, how to turn tables. I'm gonna be chased? Ooh, okay, we'll see. Hi. Hi, welcome back. Thank you. I'll finish my intro this time round. My name is Brenda. I'm 26 this year and do I need to say my height? Oh my <laughs> god! Uh, my last relationship ended in 20... end of 2016. So I'm at a stage of my life where I want to put myself out there and I thought it would be fun and interesting to come here and see if like, you know, who knows there might be someone compatible for me. I've never been on a dating show before. Uh, and also because if this is going to be broadcast, hi, I'm available. <laughs> I've never really had the best luck when it comes to relationships, but I think generally I'm quite excited to meet new people. I've already gotten to know the girls earlier on and they're very cute and fantastic. So if I'm not walking away with love today, at least I have a bunch of new friends. Hi. Hi. I'm Lulu. Can you tell me more about the nickname? Uh, it's a secret. Oh, it's a you'll secret. find out. You, you'll find out if I get matched. If oh. not, then you will never find out. Wow. Okay. Hi, I'm the daydreamer. Nice Hi. to meet you. I chose this because um, I like to like daydream and imagine. I feel like daydreaming is what I do ninety percent of the time, anyways. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. It's like I will either think about work, stress about something, or I'll just be daydreaming. Nice. Hello. Hi. I am the octopus. Octopus? Yes. Wow. It's okay, I don't look like an octopus, but... That's very reassuring. Thank you. How do you think of that nickname? I think it's because I am all over the place. I'm doing a lot of different things. Ooh. I think I've got a lot of different interests, uh, different hobbies, different ambitions. That's why I'm all over. So would you consider yourself an ambitious person yourself? Ooh, ambitious. Yeah. Ah, oh, I guess. You I'm guess? Not... What does that mean? <laughs> What's I guess? It's a yes or no answer. I'm career lady. Career lady? Yes. Ooh. Is that why you're single? Yes, of course. Ah. <laughs> Do you like watching movies? Movies? I like watching movies, but I feel like I'm more of a drama person. What kind of dramas are you into? When I got on Netflix, I got into Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Ooh. Or like, you know, Modern Family, all those kinds of things. Okay. Yeah. I love watching sitcoms, like The Office, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, that sort of sitcoms. It's great to have something to, to watch it with. I think generally I felt he was quite sweet. Um, like his interests um, more or less match mine quite perfectly to be honest. What do you believe that most people take for granted? The first thing that comes to my mind is definitely our parents. I totally believe that they actually sacrifice a lot for us. Are you close with your parents? I'm not somebody who actually share a lot with my parents. Were they strict with you growing up or? I would say my dad is more strict about my academics because right. my academics when I was younger is always disappointing. So Been there, done that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Disappointment of the family. Shame. Shame. I would say I share more a lot more with my mum and she's very important to me because whatever I do, I would go to her for advice. Wow. Yeah. And then like if you're watching this show. I mean my mum definitely watched oh. the shows. Yeah. So Hi. she Hi, definitely mom. will watch. Boy, that escalated quickly. Uh, I'm not very close to my parents. I don't really share things with them. Because like, oh. uh, I, I think I grew up in a, a rather strict household. Okay. So, you know, if you were to share certain things, it would just send to a lecture. But it's, it's always cool to hear people who have really good relationships with their parents. I think it's a very awesome thing. I'm also not very close to my family. I get very envious and almost uh, in admiration when I see people who are very close to their family. Right. Yeah. I, I think, um, <laughs> yeah, it, it's just something that I look at and I understand the warmth and yeah. I've never quite felt that for myself. Oh. Yeah, but I, I know that it exists. So. I know, I know. What is a piece of advice you often offer but find it difficult to follow? 
think uh, I always tell my friends, you know, whenever they're freaking out and whatnot, I always tell them it's okay, it's okay, you know. You know, you're not perfect, you're human, right? Mm. But that's the one advice that I think I don't follow because, right. yeah, I realised like I'm a perfectionist, I think probably like four years ago. Okay. Why? Right, because that's exactly who I am. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I, I realised that I'm somewhat of a perfectionist. If I want to do a song cover mm -hmm. and post it on my social media, mm -hmm. I would do it on my own, I'll practice and I'll record like 20 times and I'll feel like with each take, it gets from bad to worse. Mm. And I'll delete everything. And then the song just never gets released. Mm. No one will ever hear the cover, no one will ever see it. Damn, I feel the same way. Uh, do you sing? I do. Ah, no wonder. And who would you want to meet? Who would I want to meet? Yeah. Like, favourite artist of mine is a singer, songwriter. Yeah. It's called Damien Rice. Oh, okay. Have that's, you heard of his you, name? Yeah, I have. Oh, uh, wow, that's rare. I need you to do me a favour. Sure. Can you uh, sing one of his songs? Ah. Oh no, you put me on the spot. I don't know what song. Ah. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. I can totally use my guitar there, actually. Oh, he brought a guitar? <gasps> Might as well, right? I'm like... Yeah. Okay, thank you. Papa went to other lands, and you know, found someone who understands the ticking and the western man's need to cry. Ooh. Okay. Wow. That was the first one I could think of. Wow, that was great. I loved it. That's, and... um, it's called Older Chests by Demon Eyes. Alright, thank you so much. Thank I you. will catch you later. Catch you later. Maybe. See ya. Okay, thank you, bye. thank you, thank Daydreamer. You. Catch you later. One can be that you felt most emotionally connected to. Just one, huh? Mm, it's a tough one. I'm thinking between two. I'm like. Who are the two? Daydreamer and Octopus. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Daydreamer for now. That's your final? Yes. Let's lock it in. I believe in terms of facial features, your nose is the most important one because it's like the centre of your face and it brings everything together, which is why mask fishing is a thing. So today we have another form of mask fishing, but you will find out after. Okay, okay, more masks. Let's go. Hi. I can't match her to any of the voices I heard earlier though. I think she looks very comfortable. And that's awesome. Because I love the dress comfortably. I asked my friend, like, can you put on another jacket so you look better? Can you wear like boots or something? Uh, something make your legs look longer. I'm like, I cannot. Lah. But cool, 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 cool. Okay, so is this a yes or no? Um I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go with a no. Actually during the earphones I could hear that he he said no. As in not here, but I could see. I saw. I was like, his mouth was like, mm, and I was like, okay. Hi. She looks like a um, career lady. This is why I imagine career lady to be like in my head, right off the bat. Do you mind turning it around? Wow. I think she's way better at fashion than I am. Like, she's more willing to try different stuff. Color combinations, those boots though. Like, ooh. Because the colours I have in my wardrobe are just like plain on plain. But I like it because she's more towards the simpler style that I'm into as well. So, is this a yes or no for you? That would go with yes then. Hi. Do you mind turning around? Mmm, kind of style. Very comfortable as well. And I think she looks like a very bubbly, very happy. Person. Okay, I don't really fancy the colour yellow. So would you say it's a yes or no? Yeah, of course you're gonna think of this one last lady. <clears throat> I'm gonna take my chances and say no. I'm so sorry. I just wanna see the last one as well. Uh okay, so yeah, talking about this, can I be the profile next time? <laughs> because I don't wanna get rejected again. I think she's a little bit nervous. Cool, 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 cool. Why, 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 why you keep saying cool? 
I'm looking at um, the, the heels. No, I was thinking about how I just talked about the dress having the yellow colour and here we have a pair of yellow shoes. They all look like, like fun people to hang out with and I feel so bad that I have to say no. So by default, this is um, the second candidate you're all right. for the physical round. Mm -hmm. Do you regret? No, I'm okay. No regrets in life. Hi. 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 Okay, so Zedan, these are the three goals that you have um, selected. Daydreamer, you can introduce yourself. Hi, like my name. Okay, hi, I'm Daydreamer and my name is Shamin. Hi, Shamin. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> hi. Hi. Do you know who I am? Career lady. Are you a career lady? <laughs> Do I look like a career lady? I'm the octopus. Oh. Oh, you didn't know that oh, I was the octopus, okay, okay. right? Then who am I then? You're a career lady, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, wow, interesting. I thought it would be easier to match faces to like whatever they've said and their voice. Turns out I was like completely wrong. I was not even close. Congratulations. You girls are the final candidates who have managed to charm the profile in one way or another. Here, each of you will be given one minute to further impress him. The space and attention are all yours. Yeah, I'm Chloe, so I prepared something. But when I see you, um, it just uh, lost my mind, so I don't know anything, I'm speechless. And then uh, I just wanted to tell you that uh, I've been wearing this gift that you have been giving me, the smile that I've been always wearing. <laughs> okay, okay. And uh, you know I'm not drunk, I'm just sugar rush because you are my eye candy. <laughs> and uh, just letting you know that uh, my name is not Chloe. I'm cutie forever, but you can call me anytime. <laughs> she's good, she's good. Like she... Personality, I think the first thing is definitely a sense of humour. I love someone who can uh, share my stupid, lame jokes with me. Yeah. Uh, her, her, her cheesy pickup lines was like, I was like, wow, first time hearing this from a girl. And she's great at it. Yeah, so from the reaction, I guess everybody was like, surprised that uh, a girl would come out with so many pickup lines. But I think to me it's kind of easy because I think it's just a fun thing to do. Mm. I'm Chow and I actually prepared two songs but you gotta pick one. Ooh, and okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna give you the title. I'm gonna give you two emotions. Okay, sure. So the first one is happy and the second is sad. I'm definitely gonna go with sad. Happy or sad? Sad. Uh, I was very sad in uh, 2020 so I wrote this song. Calling nightly, maybe I will see We're falling slowly, crazy is what I think We count five but it feels so really It's been a long night Will you take me See through me sometimes I'm happy I stepped onto your life Like you did mine I'm selfish, I mean it We'll twist and we'll turn out just fine It's three in the morning Please hold me, I'm losing It's called 3 in the morning. 3 in the morning? Yeah. Wow. I, I wrote it at 3 in the morning. <laughs> That's when I'm awake every night. Really? Yes. Dang. I love it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Well, he did mention that he really liked my song, which makes me feel literally hurt, you know, because I put thought and feelings into the words that I choose and the lyrics that I choose, which is nice. <laughs> Okay, because I act right, so I'm more confident in my expressions and like using my gestures. So I'm going to play hits up with you, Ooh. mime version, and we'll see how, how many we can get. Okay. <laughs> Hi. 
Makeup? Uh, Putting on makeup? Mm. Mm. Shivering cold? Scared? I don't know. I was, initially, I wanted to play the guitar, but I wasn't confident. And I wanted to sing also, but then I wasn't confident. Hey, hey Macarena. Oh no, <laughs> so, uh, wearing, wearing pants. Dressing up. Skip! <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, okay! Uh, alright, alright. Okay. Mm, she's just good at doing all the actions. Wow, 9 out of 11. But how would you rate the interaction? Oh, 10 out of 10. Solid, solid performance. So sweet of you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank this you. is awesome. So Liang, it's time to make your decisions. <laughs> so um, there's a jar at the back. Oh, if you don't mind, take a jar and read okay. out the action prompt. Now that you've seen everything, it's time to make your decision. Girls, please stand in a row and keep your eyes closed. Only the selected one will receive a tap on her shoulders. Girls, please stand up. So, clearly everyone's like quite talented. Uh, you know, uh, it's very different, all three of them. It's something very different. But there was one that hit me a little bit harder. Oh, it's bright. I think in my mind I already made up my choice. The moment she started singing, I was like two lines in. I think if you look at the footage, right, my expression was like, wow. <laughs> no, actually, all along I think if it's me, I would choose Chow. Oh, I mean, even Chow the pretty girl got my number. It's a match. <laughs> Here's the final deal. Ze Liang has been making all the hard decisions today, but now you both get to choose. Each of you will now pick a paper right in front of you and write down if you would like to match or not. Usually when I meet people organically, uh, you really get into much deeper conversations, but I couldn't really do that today. I already know it's going to be no. <laughs> what is she drawing? She's like a full painting. Go on, Picasso. You do you. One, two, three. Oh. Hmm? <gasps> okay. 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 Nice. Okay. So we'll set you up on a date courtesy of Clarence. Oh. Oh. What's wow. the budget? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, we were literally trying to talk about this earlier. We have. Absolutely no idea we want where we want to go. Um, we both like music, right? So maybe we can choose something related to that. Probably not anything related to music. Because I feel like we're going to go look at guitars or something. It's going to be <laughs> not, the, not the most fun episode to watch. So it's, it's a match. match. If you like this episode, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And of course, leave a comment below and let us know where we should go on a date and uh, where we should go shopping. I don't know. Just buy whatever we want. Catch the next episode. See you. I'm not sure if you guys watched the movie, Lulu the movie. So Michelle Chong actually, she did something. She's like, she introduced herself. Hi, Lulu. I come from LA, USA. So I think Kings are uh, very long for my talents. Uh,我就在那边一直想,我跟你讲,想到我的头脑啊包在啊,你懂吗?因为哦,就想我第二次来这个收了,然后如果没有被选中,真的没有被选中哦。Yet, so um, that all I have. Kapung kap. Hi, I'm Zeliang. And I'm Chow, and I would like to say that this color coordination was not planned. <laughs> right! I like it though. Okay, we do have to do this, mm. so we're going to do that now. Oh, right away. This okay. is small talk. Small talk. And I think we were already talking, but let's make it smaller. <laughs> this small. <laughs> <laughs>